The Call of Duty Cold War Multiplayer Beta. It's almost here. It's almost here. Now, before I get into that topic right there, I know, I know, I know I said you guys will probably never, ever see another Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay here on the channel. But some of you guys tweeted at me and some of you guys messaged me on Instagram saying, I think you should give the game another try. I think, you know, I think you're too harsh on the game. It's not a bad game. You just have to play it real slow and tactical. And I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot more joy in it. Now, alright, so I took it into consideration. I tried to play it. I tried to give it another chance. I'm using the AUG stopping power rounds. Well, that's the stopping power barrel equip with the um the extended mags, the last version of the extended mags. And I'm trying, fellas, I'm trying to give it a chance, but the game is just it, uh, it's just not good. It's just not good. It's not fun. It's not. It's not fun. It's too realistic. And I know that may sound crazy, but it's just too realistic, too slow, and too, how can I say it? Too, I don't know, I don't know the last word to put it, but it's just not fun. The skill-based matchmaking ruins the experience. That's just not only on this Call of Duty, it's on all of them. On all of them, today was not my day for COD. I'm, I'm serious. I got two Greasy Gun gameplays, right? And neither one of them is good. Neither one of them is good from Call of Duty World War II. The skill-based matchmaking, once again, just ruins the experience. And towards the end of this gameplay, I tried to even switch over to Call of Duty World II because I couldn't even finish this game, fellas. I just couldn't. This game right here is probably the worst, the worst Call of Duty when it comes to multiplayer ever, ever. I mean, look at this. Oh, the Marksman Rifle Cheese. Now, is it me? Or that R700, the SPR, whatever that gun is, that marksman rifle, you can actually create it to be the R700. Is it me or uh, that gun just, just takes no skill? That gun right there, I think the aim assist pull on that gun is too strong in my opinion. But the gun just takes no skill in my opinion. Now, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, fellas. Here's the thing. In this game, you have different aim assist options. You you can toggle your aim assist to make you strong. Or etc. Et I don't really know, but I know you got different aim assist options, and I don't like that. I feel like that's another reason why this game is in the situation it's in, in my opinion. But like I said, I tried to give it a chance. I couldn't even get any. Only only kill streak I got in this gameplay you're watching is a UAV. I was one off the VTOL jet and died from some dude pre aim and spawn. Yeah, how you supposed to enjoy it? How do you supposed to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019? I've even tried adjusting my audio settings to make it look like, hey, uh, I'm sound whoring or, or, you know, I can hear better, but the audio in this game is weird, all right? It's weird. I've tried adjusting everything. I tried to do everything. I even tried to adjust the um, brightness, the color settings and everything to see better, but it just, it's not working. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Now, the color, the color settings, yeah, it made a huge improvement. I'm not gonna lie. This game, Ooh, yeah, this game is very dull, but with these color settings I got, man, it brings everything out. It brings all the colors out, I'm not gonna lie. And I think that's what made it a little bit better to see enemies, but the gameplay overall is still the same. It still hasn't changed. I don't know. I don't know if it's me, or I don't know if it's Infinity War, how do they create their games, they design them, or I don't know if it's a skill-based matchmaking. I don't know. I don't know. I, I personally don't think it's Infinity War. I'm pretty sure they designed this game to, to make it play well for it tended to play different. I don't really know, but I think I think majority of the problem is skill based matchmaking. I'm not gonna lie. The skill based matchmaking ruins the experience. It has to go. It has to go. It's not fun. You got guys out here booty sliding down rails off buildings and jump shotting you, drop shotting you, killing you with the OP marksman rifles in the game. It's not fun. It's not a fun experience. It's not. Now, I don't know. I don't know. See, look, look, look. Oh, my God. Look at a pre aim and spawn. Look, look, look. Oh, my God. Ooh, with the thermal scope. With the thermal scope of doom, baby. How? How do you supposed to enjoy a game like this? It's not fun. It's not fun. It's not. It's not fun. 
I don't care what you guys say. It's not, and I refuse to continue playing it. I refuse to, I'm gonna give it another go. I'm gonna try to record some more gameplay on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. But I just can't have fun with this game, bro. It's not a bad game. It's just not the game for me. You know what I'm saying? It's just not the game for me. It's just not. Now, in addition to that, I don't know what it is. It's hard for me to get score streaks. Well, kill streaks in this game. You know how you would think they bring back the advanced UAV, ooh, the gunship, the uh, attack chopper, all these good things, the AC-130, all these good things they bring into this game, and yet the results are still the same. I don't know. You guys explain to me. Explain. Explain. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Help, 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 help. I'm not pleading to any one of you out there who watched this video, please give me some tips on how to get better at Modern Warfare because I'm struggling. This is a hard game for me to play. It is. And Call of Duty isn't hard. But this one right here, this one is horrible. This one is horrible. This is the worst COD ever made. And if you guys hear background noise, I'm sorry about that. But for real, it's the worst game ever played. Now, in addition, our final thing we need to talk about with this game. The weapons and how the way they perform. I feel like certain weapons recoil patterns are inconsistent. I feel like they added too much, too much. I mean, I feel like they just added too much, like kick to certain weapons versus like the other weapons. Like the marksman rifles, you got too much aim assist. The assault rifles, some of them are balanced, some of them are not. You got submachine guns here that perform like assault rifles. It's overall an unbalanced experience. And this is what worries me about Cold War. Cold War would just come with weapon balancing and how they're going to design the maps. Now, Treyarch are known for their three-lane uh, three lane um, traditional maps. Now, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I seen one map um, during the um, multiplayer beta reveal. I think it was called like the, the Euro Mountains, Rural Mountains. Then you got another map called Cartel. And I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I, don't, I don't know, man. Because I feel like they, if the game, the game already play like is um, it has a modern warfare feel to it in certain aspects, like how you reload your gun. They got that from modern warfare, etc. etc. Now, I just gave up, fellas. All right, towards that, I just gave up because there was no point in me playing. I closed the application and I said, you know what? That's it. I'm gonna go over to COD World War II and try to get some gameplay. So I went on COD World War II. And here I'm using the PPSA to justice. I'm sorry, once again, I don't have my guns, my weapon variants, or anything. I'm not on my Prestige Master account. I gotta get it back from the homies EK. And as soon as I spawned in, you you seen what happened. And now I'm like, oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I'm at a huge disadvantage. And throughout the gameplay, you're gonna witness a lot of players. A lot of players killing me, killing me. And it came to a point where I just gave up. I just gave up. I gave up. I said, forget it. You can have it. You can have it. Because I, I still had no chance. I had no weapons to combat it. I had no weapons to combat it. And the PPSH, it seemed like on this account, on this version, at least when you're low level, I feel like the guns just kick more when you're low level. I feel like you're just, when you're low level, you just stand no chance, all right? I'm being honest. And I'm getting outplayed by bots. And some of them are actually skillful, too. So I don't know. I'm getting outplayed by good players and bots. I looked on the enemy team, and I'm like, what? What they got me up against? Dude, I'm a low level. Why am I why, like why? Why am I in lobbies with level 1000s and shit? So I gave up on that too. I said, you know what? They can have it. So now here we are. Black Ops Cold War. This is what the video is all about. The multiplayer beta. And now, this is not my gameplay, by the way. I got this from the homie PS3360. You know what I'm saying? Huge shout out to him for letting me use the gameplay. Because, dude. When the alpha was out, I couldn't even enjoy that dude. The skill-based matchmaking was ruining the experience, all right? I had dudes from all the way in Asia just killing me, drop shining, camping in corners, and all that. Like, they're in a freaking MLG tournament. It's not fun. It wasn't fun. I hope the beta it gives me a different experience. Now, for the beta, I'm going to record lots and lots of gameplay for you guys. You guys can expect that. You guys can expect it. It's going to be lit for the beta. Now, hopefully... You know, they made the changes like they say they did in the patch notes for the beta. Yeah, they were released. Treyarch has said, wait a minute, guys. Maybe let me let me uh, let me pull it up real quick. 
Mm. Do, 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 do. Let's look at these patch notes from Treyarch themselves, from the homie Tony Flame and the rest of the team. Let's let's look at it. So let's go first. Let's go to um Charlie Intel and let's look at the patch notes. Come on. All right. The first thing, hmm, let's see here. Oh my god, dude, the phone is acting up. The phone is acting up. Let's see, where are these patch notes at, Charlie? Charlie, come through for the homie. Where you at? Where you at, Charlie? All this content you've been posting on Call of Duty? All right, let's see, let's see. All right, now, here are the details for the beta, for the multiplayer beta. So, it says this, we're getting new game modes. Wait, 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 no, oh my god, fellas, it's the wrong link. Come on, Charlie. You got me over here wasting time on the gameplay. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right though. It's gonna be all right. All right. Uh. Hmm. Where is it, dude? I can't find it, dude. Forget it, then, man. I can't find it. It sucks. It sucks. Whatever. But anyways, all right. Treyarch, throughout the beta, they said they were gonna continue to um add content. Or whatever like that what well, they said um, what well, the homie Tony flame and his team have already made a few fixes to the game such as uh, a fix where what is called G slide and slide counseling export they're gonna continue to monitor that they're gonna fix um, snipers now here's the thing that concerns me the most these snipers in this game whoo these snipers and call to the Cold War on to my these are career killers right here fellas I'm serious these are career killers these guys aim in and got so much aim assist to the point it reminds you of uh, the Black Ops 2 Ballista. And, do, and during the alpha, they said that um, the only reason they had so much aim assist was because they were trying to configure it for crossplay. And I don't know, man. Now, as I read the patch notes, right, it says the snipers will even have more aim assist. And that scares me. It's just because of crossplay for console or for controller players. It scares me, but I feel like, all right, I found it now, fellas, the patch notes. Let's go. First, we're going to go over the movement. Sliding was a big topic of conversation during the alpha. So, da -da 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 -da, the devs decided, uh, as for sprinting, the acceleration moving from a standstill has been slightly increased, allowing for a faster takeoff. Boom. That's that's one thing. Now, for the perk called Ninja, right, fellas, the perk called Ninja, the devs said, you know how we could play in the alpha, um... Then Ninja Perk wasn't working properly. We were still loud as we were running across the map, walking, whatever like that. The players could easily hear us. So now what Treyarch decided to do, they made several major changes to the perk and movement audio in general. For starters, crouch walking now makes movement near silent with or without having Ninja equipped. Crouch walking while ADS makes footsteps even quieter. However, for those who do not have the Ninja Perk in their loadout, the volume of movement mechanics like sprint, well, I mean, well, who do have Ninja in their loadout, the volume movement mechanics like spraying, jogging, and walking has been reduced by roughly 50% since the Alpha. ADS walking with Ninja Equip provides an additional significant stealth advantage. Good. So now, score streaks. They decide to change up how the score streaks work in the game. The Alpha didn't do much to convince fans that it was the right decision, so the devs had to make some adjustments to how the system is set up. For starters, the objective score rewards and domination kill confirmed Harper have increased to better reward those who play the objective. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So now, people like me who play the objective actually get rewarded. Yes, we actually get the amount of points we deserve for playing the objective, other than someone running around kill hoarding. All right. Now, let's talk about the most important thing. The weapons, the gunsmith. So now, here's the thing that confused me about Modern Warfare that Treyarch actually got right in this game. They added a more detailed breakdown of statistics for each attachment, explaining in detail how each attachment influences its weapon stats. Move the gunsmith UI button closer to the weapon for easier access. The recoil and firing animation. Yes, we complained that the graphics for the weapons and how the way the weapons perform, how they looked and how it was just so much of a downgrade from Modern Warfare. So they changed how the animations look. They tuned everything up. They revamped the weapon firing and reworked and rebalanced all record patterns, impact and weapon mounts and master across the board. Full touch up pass on animations across all of them based on feedback. And down sights, they added a new ADS weapon rendering technology for more realistic ADS perspective. Good, good. And notice I'm only hitting the key points, all right? Now, here, now back to snipers. Sniper glint now displays more often and more reliable to help players understand when they are in danger. That's a good thing. 
adjusted ADS time on sniper rifle. That's a good thing. Now here's the part that scares me. Added aim assist on snipers for controller users for cross-platform bouncing. Why, Treyarch? Why, 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 why? That's not gonna make anything better. Why, why? Oh my God, we'll have a whole discussion about that in the next video, but that was like some of the major key points other than graphics and light visibility, audio, footsteps, hit mark audio, such such. That was the major stuff, all right? But why? Why? Of course, Buzz, but why, Treyarch? Why?